ethics is basically the number one value of a prosecutor. Deputy District Attorney Marcella McLaughlin is the DA's ethics coordinator. My title means that I advise all of our deputy DAs on any ethics related issue that comes up in their assignments. She also oversees the DA's ethics program and the ethics advisors who are point persons in every branch for deputies who need assistance. It's not always black and white. It does get more challenging as you go along and you try more difficult cases. Most of my calls do come from the younger deputies who are learning and that's how I love to help. Um, so, and it's great to get calls from them because that means that they know um, they're smart, they know to, uh, how to identify an ethics issue, and they know to reach out and um, how to use me as a resource. The goal is to avoid allegations of misconduct, but if that does happen, the ethics coordinator appears in court on behalf of the prosecutor involved. Sometimes it's a tactical thing. Sometimes the defense attorney is actually just mistaken. Um, you know, they think something that our, that our deputy is doing is wrong when it's really just something that's well within um, the law. Since I've been in this position, um, we have not had any misconduct allegations that were found to be true by the court. Um, we've been, and we've been very happy about that. And, and I, I, be I believe that that's because we hire great people who really understand and value their ethical obligations. In addition to giving advice on a case-by-case -case basis, ethics training is done regularly for every prosecutor in the office, keeping it a top priority in the pursuit of justice.